Hi, welcome back to CBIT 2012. The show is officially open. We're getting started by joining ASRock, and I'm joined by Chris from ASRock Marketing. Chris, Intel motherboards are the big talk of CBIT 2012. Sure. Yep. You've got a whole cabinet full of them here. We're going to focus on two of your extreme boards. Now, these look pretty impressive. Our readers yeah, have yeah. said that they like the design. Yeah, but I like it too. Uh, yeah. Talk us through the two models you want to focus on. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I can see that these uh, performance series will mainly focus on the Intel X79 high-end chipset motherboards. And this board is awesome board. It's just like a you know, supercar. X79 Extreme 11. There are three, three points I want to highlight. The first one is uh, you, you can see that there are two POX, P, uh, PX, A747, PCIe Gen 3 bridge on board, so it can provide more PCIe Gen 3 lanes. can make it this board support the four-way SLI by 16, by 16, by 16, by 16. So this is a top of the end model on the X79 motherboards. The other thing I want to highlight is the LSI SAS 2308 uh, SAS chip on board can support eight additional SAS ports. And for the audio part, it's a uh, Creative Suncore 3D audio chip on board. It's a quad core DSP on board. So this can provide awesome audio experience. OK, so this one board here has got extreme storage, extreme graphics, extreme audio. Exactly, yeah. It's interesting that ASRock is still putting so much focus on X79. A lot of people believe that the platform, although impressive, wasn't a huge step up from Sandy Bridge. And now the Ivy Bridge is so close. Exactly. Do you think X79 is going to continue to be popular? Yeah, we think so, because uh, you know, Intel put a lot of focus on the Core i7 Extreme Series CPU. So we believe that X79 can still attract some you know, high-end programmers. <laughs> you know, extracting their, their eyes, yeah. Okay, now just one look at that board tells me it's not going to be cheap. When is it going to be available and how much is it going to cost? Well, because um, this board is not launched yet. This board should be launched maybe in the late of April, beginning okay. of a May kind of thing. So the price is not finalized yet, but I believe that should be around 400 something euro. Wow, okay. Now we're going to move on to this board here, which is one of your Z77 boards. These are launching very soon. Ah, uh, exactly. This, uh, according to Intel launch schedule, the board will be launched the, on the, you know, April 8th. Uh, the Ivy Bridge, uh, the Intel uh, Z77 chipset. And you can see this one is also the high-end model from SROC. It's, we call that the Z77 Extreme 9. Okay, this board, you can also see the POX. The, the same chip as uh, X79 Extreme 11, but that one has two chips. This one has one on board. So this one can also support the, you know, the four-way uh, graphics by eight by eight by eight by eight. Okay, so that's again SLI and Crossfire certified? Exactly, yeah. Okay, now Intel's launch schedule for Ivy Bridge is quite interesting. We've spoken to various manufacturers here. Yeah. What do you think about selling motherboards where the new chips aren't available yet? Uh, well, uh, we, we, we believe that the, the Z77 should be, um, will, will be a successful platform because it provides um, more overclocking capability and more performance than the Sandy Bridge platforms. So we, we believe that Z77 should be a very good selling uh, chipset products. Excellent. Okay, Chris, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks. Those are the ASRock motherboards. Stay tuned for more from Hexus.